I have made it to the... Oh, wow. Check out this quick little video showing the ending of Metro Last Light. Yes. What is up, YouTube? It's Ubu the Tech Guru coming straight at ya. How is everybody doing tonight? I'm doing fantastic. And I'm bringing you the very end of Metro Last Light. Uh, I don't know how, how many of you have been watching me uh, live stream the game. I've been live streaming it uh, at points here and there on Twitch TV as well as Hitbox. I'm just trying to find, uh, you know, whichever streaming service works out better for me. And, uh, you know, trying to grow my streaming viewer base. So, you know, I've been streaming that game. Uh, I haven't done too many videos on the game, but, um, you know, it was recently ported to Linux, and um, there's been a lot of people that have had issues with the game in Linux, um, with, with NVIDIA, you know, graphics cards, as well as AMD graphics cards. Um, I don't even know if you could play this game with an Intel, you know, uh, Intel built-in uh, GPU, you know, built into the CPU because it is very, very graphic intensive. I mean, you can see right now, I'm only pulling 19 to 20 frames a second, and uh, right now this was captured, this I was live streaming this um, from my HD 7770 uh, out the HDMI port at 1280 by 720 to my Windows 7 computer and the Elgato, which was capturing it at 1280 by 720. So, um, not only, you know, the, this HD7770 had to render the game on my computer screen at 1280 by 720 you know, as well as push out an additional 1280 by 720 screen you know, to the Elgato. So, that's what the reason I'm only pulling 20 frames a second uh, in this game. I mean, like I said, it's a very graphic intensive game. So I just, you know, I thought I would show you guys the ending of the game. Go, so spoiler alert, <laughs> obviously if uh, you guys haven't finished the game, you're not going to want to not, not want to watch this video all the way through. You know, it's not a very long video. Just sit tight and watch it through. It's it's really uh, you know, it's a it's a really cool ending. The game itself I thought could be improved in a few ways. There are certain points in the game where you're not quite sure what to do and you don't receive any type of audible cues, you know, from the guy that you're running along with or the person that you're with at that per certain point in the map. You know, it could really benefit from some audible cues on what to do. Um, you know, you have a little map thing that you can bring up, an objective type list that you can bring up. But there's just certain points in the game where I did have to go to like a walkthrough posted on, you know, like a wiki type website or whatever that actually sh told me, you know, how to get through that certain point in the game. Um, but man, this this game is just fantastic. It was really, I mean, for for it being, I'm considering it a AAA title, and there's not very many AAA titles out for Linux. Um, so see, you can see, sadly right now I'm only pulling 11 frames a second. <laughs> um, I don't really know why, because this scene isn't really that graphic intensive. You know, that big explosion that was in the very, very beginning of my video, um, you would think, you know, that it would drop down to 10 frames a second at that particular scene, but this one's not very graphic intensive, and it's, my machine is, is really getting stretched to the limits here. So, but, I mean, back to Metro Last Light, I had a blast playing it. I think it's completely worth the, I believe it was $39.99. Um, you can pick it up through Steam. Uh, very, I thought it was a great game. I think it's totally worth it. I'm going to recommend it to anybody, you know, that's played similar type games like maybe Fallout or, um, man, see, I haven't played very many single-player campaign first-person shooter games. Uh, you know, it's probably similar to Bioshock, you know, basically where you're just kind of going through levels and you have certain objectives for each level, and um, this one's basically, you know, a post-apocalypse type uh, world in Moscow where you're living underground away from the radiation, and the only reason you blew off the radiation, the bombs, was to get rid of the Dark Ones, you know, which are these alien forms, and... Um, 
but you know, all around the game played really well on my machine. It didn't have a lot of the graphic anomalies and graphic crashes that other people complained about in the Steam forums. So if you are running Linux, you know, I would strongly suggest that you have uh, a strong enough video card to play this game, you know, and make sure you read the Steam forums and check out the specific posts by Linux users on what graphics card they have and what driver they were using to see, you know, if they had any issues playing the game. I mean, otherwise, like I said, I have an HD 7770 Black Edition with, uh, and I was running the latest uh, AMD Catalyst driver from the website 13.12 at the very end, and, you know, I didn't have any crashes or anything. I was able to play the game. Uh, like on probably a quarter, <laughs> there's only a little slider for Linux, probably about a quarter of the way of graphics, um, you know, I was able to play the game on. But uh, excellent game. I'm recommending it to you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the quick little video showing the ending of Metro Last Light. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button for other videos and uh, give me a rating. Let me know what you thought of the video. So that's about all I got for you guys tonight. Until next time, I'll smell you when I smell you. Ubu out.